All right, today we are going to be changing the oil in a 2019 Chevy Silverado. So take SAE 0W20 and we will be using Mobile One. And so first we loosen this so that it keeps the suction from, uh, so the oil will drain underneath. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and pull the dipstick a little bit too. All right, so I got two wrenches, uh, two oil um, filter wrenches. Hopefully one of them will work. I think a cap would probably work better, but we don't have that right now. So when the oil comes out, it's kind of going to shoot. So we got to try to position this bucket where it will go in the bucket. All right, and so I have a 15 millimeter wrench. All right, and now this is going to oil is going to fall out you're going to get all dirty so maybe i ought to take off my watch so that doesn't get dirty i'm you know full of oil whatever no. try not to drop it in the bucket but you know gotta move out the way quick when all the oil starts falling out on you we made sure the, the engine's not, I mean, we, this is the first time we cranked it today just to drive it to the backyard. <sighs> All right. Oh, so now, gonna wait for that to drain. Plug down there. Uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna get my wrenches ready. Got the uh, wrench on here. I'm using a strap wrench. And so, just gonna loosen. Well, I gotta tighten. See if I could do this with one hand while holding the camera. probably turn it by hand by now. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Let it drain. Let it drain. And you probably should be wearing gloves, but I don't care, I'll wash my hands. <sighs> okay. And I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just set that in there for now. Keep it from getting all, all over the concrete. And we'll let that drain and I'll go get the new oil filter ready. All right, so with this truck, we use the extended performance uh, filters and the uh, full synthetic motor oil. We use the mobile one. And then because um, it has quite a few miles on it, we put in the micro lubricant. Uh, we use the Max and uh, that's the brand we prefer. We put it in every 10,000 miles. So what we're gonna do is we've got to fill up this oil filter with some oil before we um, screw it into the bottom of the truck. So we have the oil filter. We fill it full of oil to um, let it sit for a little while to absorb before we install it. And um, I like to put a little oil around the gasket to make sure it gets a good seal. 
It's been about five minutes. We've let that soak. And now we're going to go back into the car. And I just want to say when you're removing the old filter, make sure you check uh, to make sure that the gasket hasn't um, stuck to the bottom of the truck and it's removed with the filter. That's a good reason to put the oil around the gasket so it doesn't stick. So as you can see, the gasket's not up there. Everything's good and drained. So we're gonna put the plug back in and we are going to put the, install the filter and we'll be good to go. So um, it basically goes on the same way. I don't know if I can film while I'm doing it, but let's see. So you just stick it up in there. Mm. Twist. I got it. Now we're just tightening it. Yeah, I'll put the wrench on it once I get it. <sighs> Tight as good as I can with my hand. Now put the bolt back in. Make sure the gasket looks good. But, uh, I guess I should call it the oil drain plug, not the bolt, because that's what it is, an oil drain plug. And you know what's probably a good idea to um, move this oil out of the way so you don't drop your tools in the oil. Good and tight. All right, so we got it good and tight. Giant plugs in good and tight. And now we'll go up and add the oil. Nice and clean. Took eight, took eight quarts of um, oil and so I added, this is five quart jug, I added a full one and now you can see it's down where there's two quarts left in here. So we know we added the right amount. Okay, and then push the dipstick back down and then we will check it see what the oil reads. So let me get a little towel so I can check it. Check the level. We backed it down off the ramp so that it could be on a flat surface to check this. And so, see, I just want to show you that this is how you read the oil. Between the grid is where the oil should be. This is low, this is full, so it should be uh, right here whenever you check your if it's down here you need to add some okay so we think we added the right amount let's check on the dipstick and see what it says yep look at that that oil is right where it needs to be all right so you see that wasn't too difficult to do was it <laughs> so well thanks for watching and have a great day bye